This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. The MAGA strategy of putting on election boards, state and county MAGA people, Trumpers, has suffered a setback, at least in Georgia. In Georgia, uh, there's two lawsuits joined together in front of Judge McBurney in the Fulton County Courthouse. That's in the Atlanta area. In the two different uh, cases, both joined together in front of Judge McBurney, in one, Julie Adams, who's a MAGA who sits on the Fulton County Election Board, or uh, has argued in her case that she has the power to delay certification of the results of the election on Election Day under new rules passed by the State Election Board, which is also MAGA-controlled three to two because they passed in the last 60 days two new rules never before seen in Georgia, part of the MAGA strategy, state by state, the battleground states, to take away your right to vote. They passed two rules at the state level. Reasonable inquiry rule, sounds reasonable on its face, but it's not, and the examination rule to empower local county boards, like the one Julie Adams is on, to throw sand in the gear of certification, where she can hold up her hand and say, I want to make a reasonable inquiry, and I want to do an examination of all of the ballots and have everything hand counted and have a no, I don't think that's right, and hold up certification. By law, that you have to, in Georgia, certify the results of the election that happens on November 5th, a week later on November 12th. Then the state certifies by the 11th of December, and then we're at Jan 6th all over again in Washington. Judge McBurney has decided he needed to add some clarity to what he saw as vague new rules by the state election board about what is reasonable inquiry, what is the examination rule, and what do you do with the brick wall of a deadline that things have to be done, in this case, by the 12th of November. And he has cleared up at least in one of the two cases in front of him, the one brought by Julie Adams, by ruling that no board member can refuse to certify the election as the superintendent of elections for that county, can't refuse to certify, notwithstanding the reasonable inquiry rule or the examination rule. Here's what he said in his declaration. It's a declaration because in this case, Julie Adams asked to have the court declare her rights. We call that a declaratory judgment action. It's not seeking money, it's not seeking damages. It's seeking a ruling, a pronouncement by the court. And here is the pronouncement by the court. The court declares the following. A, an election superintendent's role in certifying election results pursuant to the Georgia statute is ministerial, even though many other aspects of her position are discretionary. Every county How's an election superintendent or supervisor? Regardless of the characterization of the election superintendent's role, the certification pursuant to the Georgia Code is mandatory. You must certify. Then he gets to the brick wall of the date by which it must be certified. Consequently, no election superintendent or member of a board of elections and registrations. So in Georgia, they call the local board the... um, the B-E-R, the Board of Elections and Registrations, a little different in every state. The state board is the S-B-E, the State Board of Elections. State Board of Elections in MAGA control. Local boards, it depends on who got on there. In the case of Julie Adams, she found, she wormed her way onto the uh, county, Fulton County Board, but she's in the minority. Um, so he concludes this way, Judge McBurney concludes this way, if in performing her responsibilities under the code to inspect systemically and thoroughly the conduct of primaries and elections in the several precincts of his or her county to the end that primaries and elections may be honestly, efficiently, and uniformly conducted, an election superintendent or member of a board of elections and registration determines a need for election information from the staff of the superintendent's office or of the board, that information if not protected from disclosure by law, should be promptly provided. However, any delay in receiving such information is not a basis for refusing to certify the election results or abstaining from doing so. So basically, he's telling Julie Adams, you can go abstain yourself. <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that. He's saying to her, or any of the MAGA, they're trying to monkey around with the county 
boards where they're particularly in the minority, you got to certify. You either certify or abstain. Majority certifies. The majority on that county board certifies. You want to? You don't want to participate? You want to take your practice ball and go home? Go ahead. But it gets done by the date certain that's established in Georgia law. So here's Judge McBurney. This is his first of two opportunities to uh, shape the contours of what he sees, what he has declared to be a vague new set of rules by the state election board at the top, controlled three to two by MAGA. I know as well as the next guy that sex life is important, but your schedule is busy. You don't have time to go to a doctor's office to get treated for ED. Through HIMSS, you can get a personalized ED treatment without stepping foot outside your door. HIMSS is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable sexual health treatments all from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to a range of doctor-trusted ED treatments such as chewable hard mints, proven treatments like Viagra and Cialis, or their generics for up to 95% cheaper. The process is simple and 100% online. No uncomfortable doctor's visits. Just answer a series of questions on their site, and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free. No insurance is needed. Pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted subscribers. So if ED is getting you down, it's time you find the option that works for you. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash legal AF. That's H I M S dot com slash legal AF for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash legal AF. The products mentioned are chewable compounded products, which are not approved by or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescription require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Three to two MAGA. So MAGA that when Donald Trump came to Georgia two months ago, he did a shout out to all three of them by name. And one of the guys particularly is trying to get a job, apparently, with the Environmental Protection Agency regional directorship if Donald Trump were to win. So that's how MAGA they are. This is part of the, let me take a step back for a minute and take the plane up 3,000 feet, look down. This is part of the strategy we've been talking about here on Legal AF, where um, it started in 2020 to seed these boards and election workers and get superintendents and, and supervisors of election up to the state board and secretaries of state on certain states to be MAGA so that there is a delay so that when, when the results come in inevitably, on election night, and usually Republicans vote more on election day, and Democrats vote more early early voting, mail-in voting, absentee voting, and the like. So the initial results will show, it may well show that Donald Trump is in the lead, but nobody will declare the state for Donald Trump until all the ballots are counted, and that takes a minute. But with the combination of, it looks like uh uh, Donald Trump has enough votes in, in the state to declare it subject to the count and this certification review uh, and analysis reasonable inquiry process to delay, to allow time for a lawsuit to be filed, to delay further. And all this happens, you know, so that we don't know until Jan 6th who who won. Put it, putting aside the attempted use of fake elector certificates again. So this is what we're seeing here through this pinhole is the strategy, the nefarious strategy of Donald Trump and the Republicans in the MAGA. And now one judge <laughs> whistling in the wind has stood against it. Now he's got two cases in front of him, one of them brought by Julie Adams that he just ruled on, which is you, Julie Adams, you don't have the right to, de to delay certification. You want to abstain, abstain, but you can't delay it. You can't use the new rules to delay it. The dates have to be met as allowed in the George, as provided in the Georgia Code. The other case that's joined together in, in this case is that the Democratic National Committee, or can, uh, yes, the DNC and the Georgia Democrats have another competing case 
that's also or, or a companion case in along with this one in front of the same judge, Judge McBurney, on the ultimate issue of whether the state election board these rules can be properly applied to this election or at all. And he hasn't made that ruling yet. Follow follow us here on Legal AF and on, on our new channel. We had to spread our wings and get our own channel in collaboration with the Midas Touch Network. Legal AF MTN for Midas Touch Network, where we sit at that law and politics intersection and bring it to you just like this. We're going to give you the update because he hasn't. this is not a complete ruling, although I know it's been reported that way in other corporate media. So I'll bring it to you right here. That's the headline. Judge McBurney, who's who's a pro, by the way, what last note on McBurney, he is a profile in courage. He's the guy that th- two weeks ago took on his own Georgia Supreme Court to tell them to go legal AF themselves, that a woman had a right to choose and had the right to an abortion under Georgia uh, constitutional privacy law. Now, the Georgia Supreme Court turned around a day later and said, no, you got that wrong. It took away a woman's right to choose and slam the gate again on women being first class citizens in Georgia. But McBurney stood up to them. Um, and he's also the judge. You may remember his name from other reporting on Legal AF and on our podcast where he was the judge that originally supervised the um, uh, grand jury, the um, the not the main grand jury, but the, the grand jury that made recommendations to Fonnie Willis as to whether she was going to bring her indictment at all. Uh, so that special purpose grand jury was supervised by McBurney, who was at the time the, the uh, chief justice or chief judge of Fulton County. A lot of detail about McBurney. I think he's an interesting cat. I wanted you to know more about him. And then this isn't the last uh, end result. As you could tell from my comment about the Georgia Supreme Court, the loser of this matter right here that I just reported on is going to take it to this two levels of appeal in Georgia, ending with the Georgia Supreme Court. And they're going to be running off and doing emergency uh, applications all over the place based on this, because they got to get clarity before the election starts. I mean, voting has already started, but until the uh, certifications required in less than a month. Michael Popak reporting for Legal. In collaboration with the Midas Touch Network, we just launched the Legal AF YouTube channel. Help us build this pro-democracy channel where I'll be curating the top stories, the intersection of law and politics. Go to YouTube now and free subscribe at Legal AF MTN. That's at Legal AF MTN.